We welcome you back to the Shah Alam Stadium venue of the AIA Cup, where just a few kilometres to the west of Kuala Lumpur City Centre. Half time, it's Malaysia Select 1, Tottenham Hotspur 2, Harry Kane, who else with two goals? But Malaysia Select had their chances, Zesh Raman. Definitely had their chances, the first couple of set Lawrence. pieces. Uh, this occasion was, was a good ball, yeah, beat the first man, the and I think he should be doing better here. If he sees that, he'll probably be a little bit disappointed himself, because he's got yeah, in front of the keeper. He can choose the right moment, so they don't have too it's much time on the ball at the back. Well, they took a little while to get into the game, and then Guillaume has a position. chance here. He's, he's through on Hugo Lloris. Yeah. Wrong choice, perhaps. Wrong choice, but if you make the wrong choice, at least hit the target. Make the keeper make a save. Or maybe he pushes it out to his striker there if he makes a save. And the sounds and very, very involved for Tottenham Hotspur here. One of the nine shots that Tottenham had in the first half. Seven on target, two goals, but Townsend looks really busy. These look very lively. The difference is Tottenham hit the target and Malaysia have been missing the target, so that's always going to reduce your chances of scoring. Hitting the target once again, Harry Kane, a little tester there for Carol Farmy. Thiago with the clearance. Carol Farmy couldn't hold on. He's always looking to... Yeah, if you hit the target, anything can happen. You can come out back to a striker, you can hit defender and go in, or with the first goal, hit the post and come back to Harry Kane. Here is the first goal. Christian Eriksen doing some great work down the left-hand side. See you later, Ronnie Harron. And then a little tap-in for Harry Kane at the far post. Yeah, some people say he's fortunate, he's lucky, but for me he's not fortunate because he's expecting the ball to come to him. He's ready, he's alert, he's alive in the box, and he knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to him. Crowd of around about 25,000 here at Charlem, enjoying that lovely piece of skill from Ericsson. He's quality, huh? He's done well. That's why, as a fullback, you pray you get a bit of help from your winger to come back and help you. Or the centre back could maybe be a little bit closer there, actually, and seeing that to cover him. But it's the, the difference is there, the quality. That was 1 0 on 19 minutes, but the Malaysia Select didn't just roll over, although they had to cope with Andros Townsend's burst of pace. and. When he puts the ball into Kane, a great movement from Kane in the middle. Movement, but that's something they've worked on in training. They know when he gets to the byline, he's going to go in and come out, or he's going to be hung up at the back pole. So these kind of things in training, you work day in, day out. Equaliser on the half hour. Thiago will claim it, but Danny Rose, we're voting for an own goal here. I'll give it to the centre-back still, because only because he had to run 70, 80 metres to get up there in the first place, and he's put himself in there, and that, that's the goal. For me, I'd be disappointed if we had to defend her, but should be for the centre-back. Well, Thiago the Perak centre-back, the Brazilian. Here's the real angle. It definitely uh, looks like his goal from here. <laughs> One each it was, and then a couple of real good opportunities for Malaysia Select, who with the Brazilian pairing up front of Rangel and Guillaume. Forced uh, one or two decent saves from Hugo Lloris. Yeah, they've done well. In, in overall, they've done well. They've made some good saves. Keepers have to make some saves from distance, from close up. So Malaysia should take uh, a lot of heart from these chances they've created. Tottenham, lovely, fluent, one-touch football. How about this? Carroll's in there, little one-two at Townsend, and Harry Kane buries it. That's the difference. Like I've said it before, but this is where you either need to go really, really tight and stop the ball being played into the striker.